Alright ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K23, man, we got some information for y'all. First off, before we get started, should I bring back Lockdown University and Lockdown University shirts, man? Yeah, they up in the store and all the good stuff, but I don't know if y'all was interested in that stuff. If y'all like it, I love it, I'll bring it back, man. Let me know down in the comment section, man. Also, we got some news on NBA 2K23. We got your boy Mike Wong, he doing some tinkering. Your boy Quavius is out there hitting us with some knowledge. You know, he found some stuff, man. And I, and I got a surprise for y'all, man. Also, NBA 2K23 tweets and intel and all that. He got some questions for y'all too, man. So. If you don't do nothing else, man, make sure y'all like the video because every time you do, it helps us get closer to the also oh coveted 100K. And without further ado, let's get the video underway. Before we get started, though, man, I just want to hit y'all with this, man. Y'all, y'all give me y'all's opinion, bro. This is this is something that I saw uh today, and it just says, uh, it's Hawks Nation, and I guess they'll have some, some discussion between Trey Young and, and John ja Morant. And it just says, Trey Young is a better shooter, better score and playmaker than John Morant. Both are bottom tier defenders. Had to grind from the bottom just to make it to the bottom. And uh, so what's the argument for Ja over Trey? Now me, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go with Trey because I I, I, I like the kid's game. Uh, he been, he, I've been, I'm an Atlanta guy. So I'm always go with the home team guy. I feel like Trey is more versatile. And uh, you know, Ja, he, he's, he's more, instead of being an all around player, he, he's more like a smaller version of of a Giannis without the seven foot frame, obviously if he's a smaller version, he's like he's not gonna. He gets to the rim and he gets to the rim at will, and he could play make a lot more off of that if he if he wanted to play make off of, but he just doesn't right now. He's just a bucket. He's a walking bucket. He get all the buckets he wants to. Nobody can stop him. But I just feel like the versatility that Trey uh, brings, you know, I, I I just like his game a little bit better than I like Ja because I feel like Ja is a little bit. A little bit more one-dimensional than Trey. That's just me for right now. Um, you know the strength and all this stuff, and maybe the shooting is gonna come and all of that. But the way Ja, ja attacks the rim, like nobody else can, nobody can deny that that he can get he can get to the rim anytime he wants. He can score anytime he wants. He can get anywhere on the floor. But I just feel like I just I, I'm, I'm more of a Trey Young guy on this one, man. I like to have that option to be able to shoot threes and uh, and play make for the team. And you know you you draw so much attention that that everybody else got to, um, you know, they got to come at you. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I'm, I'm team Trey Young, but that's because I'm in the home team. And then see, obviously, this is why y'all need NBA League pass right here. If the dude said because Ja reached the semis and Trey cannot get past the first round. Bro, you serious? Do you even watch basketball, bro? They giving it to him in the comments, bro. Like, 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 why you, is it Ja did not reach the semis? Why are you lying? And Trey Young uh, got to, we got to the Eastern Conference Finals. Obviously, you know, they showing it right here off Wikipedia and all that stuff. We lost to Giannis in there. If we'd have had some interior, we we, we probably could have done better, but we had nobody to stop stop your boy, man. But yo, hey, they, they giving it to him right there, man, in the comments. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Up next, we got your boy, Big Daddy Bash. He got his belt. Talk to him, Bash! Yeah! When you hear that, you know what time it is, man. I need to get some volume in this thing. Get some volume in there. Give some volume, Bash! Man. That man said I had one belt already, now I have two. Thank you, Uncle Demi. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Give it to him, Bash! The Omega, the Barbecue Slayer, the Undisputed Barbecue Slayer. Get into him, Bash. Of the world. Talk to that Bash. The man with two belts. Two belts, not that's one. That's the way the cards was dealt. That's the way the cards was dealt, baby. Yours truly. Yours truly. Bash. Bash world, man. What's my console? What is the console? Don't ask him. Don't worry about what the console is, baby. Don't worry about that. Gentlemen, talk to him. You are not looking. You not looking at what? What you looking at? Undisputed. Undisputed. Universal. Universal. Barbecue. Barbecue. World. world. Champion. That's what I'm talking about. Give it to him, Bash. Talk to him, Bash. 
Anyway, man, look, man, I love Bash, man. I think that that's how stuff is supposed to go, man. I had to stop before I mess around and get a copyright. But your boy got them two belts, man. They won the Uncle Demi tournament, man. You can't say nothing about it because they won it. The man with two belts, because that's how the card was dealt. And I had my belt around here, man, somewhere. I don't know where it is right now, so no, know it is what it is. But, hey, hey, it's the people's champ, man. My boy Bash, do your thing, man. Up next... Uh, big shout out to them, man. Quavo and my guy Demon Kev, Demon Kev, man. Been been rocking with Demon Kev for years, man. You know that kid, he's a great guy. Um, you know, one of the best locks out there. Uh, up next, man, we got the shout out to our cover star on playing her final NBA, uh, you know, WNBA game in the All Star game. Which uh, who's picking up? The WNBA edition. Is anybody getting the WNBA edition, man? Y'all, let me know what y'all think, man. I don't think nobody getting. The WNBA edition, and I, don't, I, I just don't think I, I don't think it's anything against the WNBA. I think it's more that everybody gonna download the game. So it's like, why why even waste time on on the editions and stuff like that? Like that's a special one, I guess. It, but who knows, man? Y'all let me know. I'm sure pretty, pretty sure a lot of people gonna get the WNBA edition. But hey, rapid fire! Here we go. Uh, your boy 2K leaks and in Intel. He says, if you have a next gen console, please play on next gen next year and then you know he comes right back and he says half of my friends still don't have next gen but i told him i'm not playing for three years in a row on current when i had a ps5 since release and a lot of people i'm not gonna lie to y'all man if y'all look on there because you can see i think you can see what people are playing on man a lot of people got next gen but they still playing current gen and it's probably because a lot of their friends are playing current gen i know a lot of people say look i'm on both sides of it, man like a lot of people don't even care about the game and stuff like that and like i said not everybody blessed enough to have a job like me where i can just go buy pretty much anything i want man and it's not content creation because content creation ain't even a, a, a tenth of the income that i make i'm gonna tell y'all that right now content creation is nothing i can i can not create no content for the rest of my life and, and it would be nothing it wouldn't impact my life at all i don't make no more man i'm just like the uh Hodge twins man you know you gotta y'all gotta help me keep the lights on because it sure ain't youtube but you know it is what it is but like i said um i always bought the consoles even when i was in college and i i, I worked jobs in college I, i've been working since i was like 14 15 got my work permit i worked at the uh mcdonald's and i had a uh we had a pharmacy i used to work in and deliver deliver the uh old people they medicine i worked at grocery stores we used to cut lawns i used to sell candy man i used to do everything man it ain't no excuse to not have that thing if you if you trying to get it if you don't care about it, it you don't matter but just don't get mad if you get left behind because if you don't if you don't got it, then you you ain't gonna get it. You know it is what it is. Um, I do. I, I'm cool with how 2K is doing it though. I wish that they would just put more effort into next gen. But right now, when a large percent of your revenue is coming from current, I understand why they're doing what they're doing. So it is what it is. I hey, keep doing it, but I, I'm probably gonna do like this, man. Do current gen for the for the YouTube views, just for the just for the YouTube views, I guess. Because that's the like, like the 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 people, the content creators don't do this. It's the it's the content consumer that dictate what we're gonna do. So it's like we might not even want to play current, but you gotta play current because ain't nobody gonna watch you play next. So it is what it is. Like I said, I'm in a unique situation. It don't matter to me if y'all watch my videos or not. I wish y'all would, but because you'd be more knowledgeable about about the game and stuff. But it really doesn't not gonna make a big difference. It's not gonna impact me a whole lot. But I mean, I do want to get to that also coveted 100K also. So if I gotta play, if I gotta play current gen to get that, that is what we gotta do, man. But like I said, bro, it is what it is. Up next, you got your boy. I hit the wrong button. Quavo, Quavo, pipe it up, pipe it up, pipe it up. He's talking about the shot meter, man, and this is loading the goat. Uh, you know, this is something that, but he just, he just got the, the, uh, do you smell what the rock is cooking face on and say the same shape as NBA 2K, uh, 18 and 19, like we said, um, yeah, cause 17 with a smile under your feet, uh, fill up the bar at the top. And then this is the green, the perfect green releasing the green zone. I don't think the green zone going to be that big or it's going to be kind of like, uh, you know, it'll probably be what it was last time where, where the, the more chance you got of hitting it, the more, the, the more chance you, the more you have, the more, the, the, the higher you're shooting, the bigger the, the green zone is going to be. And, uh, and unlike 16 and 18 i mean unlike 16 and 17 it ain't gonna be really no bounce back bounce backs or whatever like that because you know on 17 it used to go up and come down and 16 it would go passing and come back and you you um 
you know, if you can hit a 75% going or 75% coming, you probably was gonna hit the shot. And that's just how it is. I don't know why people seem like they forgot that, but you know, it is what it is. And last but not least, the boy Mike Wong is back out there tweeting. Hey, your boy Digital Henry. Maybe we gotta get everything to go through Digital Henry because it looked like when Digital Henry hit him up, he started talking, he says, hey Baluba, I really enjoy the drive camera uh, view. That's what Brute play on too, but he played drive low. However, however, when inside the three point near the paint, I lose view of the perimeter even with, even with key zoom off. Okay, cool. Is it possible to keep the camera from following the player in after a certain point? I would like, I would like I mean, it would make drive cam more usable. Example of me losing, I mean, an example of me losing a view of the perimeter uh, area for possible kickouts and all that. So you like, you like getting ready to back his guy down. And now like you, as you can see, he cannot see right here. And the boy Mike Wong, he replied. That boy Mike Wong said, spend some time working on this tonight. To what? Tonight. And I think I got the drive cam closer to what you're asking for. Hopefully you like the changes. Thanks for the feedback. Oh my goodness. So obviously, and then obviously he says, uh, thanks Mike. Thanks Mike. What the world? Who called somebody whole name? Thanks Mike Wong. I, I mean, I am looking forward to this. I appreciate it. Boy, I swear they be having burnout accounts and they just be talking to each other on and all that stuff, bro. Like this, this I swear they do, bro. Like, bro, I swear they have burner accounts and they just like, nobody's asking for this stuff, bro. Who asked, like, obviously we would want that to be in the game and be like that, but come on, bro. Did somebody really ask for that? And you really did it? And you got people out here asking for better VC prices and we want the speed boosting attenuated some and all the glitching and all that in the game gone. And, and we gonna fix the drive camera, bro? You literally can't shoot the ball in the game if you don't use boost. And I ain't talking about y'all that's shooting 30 and 40 percent. 30 and 40 per hand. We're not talking about that. We talking about you literally cannot shoot the basketball at a high clip in this video game if you don't buy boost. You can't even dribble if you don't buy both of the boost and all of that good stuff. And we fixing the drive cam. Come on, son. Come on, son. And like I said, if you don't if you don't notice all the stuff that I'm talking, I know we got videos out there that dropped a couple weeks ago and the ridiculousness. Look, bro, I'm not telling you that putting on boost is gonna make you shoot 70%, but you won't shoot over 70% without boost. That's what I'm saying. Like I said, I know we got people saying that like, it don't work. It does. Bro, I look at a lot of these people stats and stuff, bro. They shooting 35, 40%. Right? Nothing gonna make you shoot better than that. But if you if you are already a good shooter, then you're gonna be 50, you're gonna be 50 as until you use a, a, a jump shot boost and it shouldn't be that way. I shouldn't have to have two Gatorade bars just to be a point guard and be effective and be able to dribble and stuff, man. And then at the same time, you don't have no stamina and you can shoot the basketball, but, but, I mean, you don't have no stamina, you can't shoot the basketball, but you don't got no stamina, you can dunk. I, I only been playing basketball for 30, for, for 40 plus years. And I know one thing, it takes more energy to dunk than it does to shoot the basketball. I'm just saying. But you know, we got all these issues in the game, bro. And and the but the drive cam was paramount amongst them. And and that's why we fixed it, man. So that's why Mike responded immediately and fixed it immediately. That's what it is, man. Hey, it is what it is, bro. Y'all let me know. That was the biggest issue in the game. I know y'all agree. Let me know down in the comment section if y'all think the drive cam was the biggest issue in the game to which he should have fixed that instantly. You know, hey, it is what it is, man. Hey, I don't know. I, I, I'm not the head of the corporation making billions. So obviously they know what they're doing. I'm just a guy that played the game way too much, man. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak.